Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in to part 6 of our travel series. And in this vlog, you will see us doing the Mecca Ziyara and going through all the different places. If you are enjoying our travel series, I request that you subscribe to my channel, comment and like the videos. Our day began with the delicious buffet breakfast that you would have seen in part 6. And this is us in the Ziyara bus, the bus that was going to be taking us to all the places that we were visiting. Kids were excited. Here's our first stop, and this is Jabal al -Thawr. This is where Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Abu Bakr عنها, were in the cave. There you can see the cave where they were hiding from the Quraysh, and the spider came and uh, spun the web. When the Quraysh saw the spider web at the entrance of the cave, they thought no one was in there and uh, Prophet Muhammad was safe. And now we're on our way to Jabal al Rahma, and it was really crowded over here. There were so many people, and Sheikh told us not to go too close to the mountain because there were buses everywhere. And this is Jabal al Rahma, guys. The significance of uh, this mountain of mercy, Jabal al Rahma, is huge because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, gave the last sermon here. And also, Adam السلام, and Hawa met here when they were sent from Jannah. SubhanAllah, the first Prophet and the last Prophet at the same mountain. It was quite hot, and there were ice cream trucks everywhere. So, naturally, the kids wanted some ice cream. And this is for my nephew Azan, AZ ice cream. I had to take a picture of that. Um, shout out to AZ. We love you, bud. And then we enjoyed these. Um, delicious ice creams our next stop is masjid nimra and this is where prophet muhammad وسلم, stayed before delivering his last sermon in arafat it's one of the most important landmarks during the hajj may allah allow us to come back for hajj ya Rab. visiting this really really made us yearn for hajj so may allah bring you and call you and invite you for Hajj as well, everyone that is watching and yearning to go and visit. Um, this is where all the Hajis um, listen to the khutbah. So the khutbahs are delivered to all the pilgrims here during the day of Arafah. It's located near the mountain of Arafah. heading to see the part of Hajj, the last uh, rite, the ritual where pilgrims collect stones and uh, head their way 
towards Jamarat, and this is where they will uh, throw stones to signify where the devil came and tried to persuade Prophet Ibrahim Islam to not sacrifice Ismail Islam and go against Allah's command. So um, pilgrims pelt stones there. Seeing all these hajj sites really brings up the yearning for Allah subhanahu wa to invite us, Ya Rab. Um, I hope you make a collective dua and may he invite you all as well. Then we headed to the Ghari Hira. So this is the mountain where Prophet Muhammad wasallam used to climb up the mountain. You can see the people on the right hand side of the screen climbing up all the way to the top. And on the left, you'll see the cave of Hira. This was on top of my list to go see, but unfortunately we did not get to hike the mountain. We just got to see it from the bus. This is where Prophet Muhammad wasallam used to go and meditate in the cave of Hira when he was tired of the sins of the Quraysh. This is before he became a prophet. So at the age of 40, he would spend time inside of this cave and meditate. And that's where he received the first revelation from Angel Jibrail. On our way back to the hotel, we saw Jannat al-Baqi, and this is where my maternal grandfather, my nana, is actually buried. He passed away in Mecca, and I only was able to get one quick picture from the bus. So anyone who passes away in Mecca is buried here in Jannat al-Baqi. And may Allah have mercy on their souls and grant them Jannat al-Firdaus. Amin. And this concluded our Mecca Ziyara. Afterwards, we headed to the hotel, rested for a bit, prayed Maghrib and Aisha in Masjid al-Haram. They have a new extension, which is just newly constructed and it's so beautiful and peaceful. And then we picked up dinner, which was Burger King. It was, kids were so excited to eat meat. That's halal, alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I hope you're feeling that yearning, that calling. And may he invite you to the Holy Lands soon. And may he invite you again and again. Amin. In our next part, we will be showing you our last few days in Mecca and also doing a hotel review. So be sure to watch the next parts. Thank you. Subscribe, comment, like. Assalamu alaikum.